Hello and welcome back. This is Two Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. I hope you enjoyed that music break. We have very like very sizzling studio at the moment. We have not one but two queens in the house, and like I really have no idea how I'm going to handle this beauty today. But we're going to make an attempt. Uh, first, we have Miss Tourism Nigeria Southern Queen Alice Ebika. Oh, no. Hmm. Twenty six yeah. mm. with the <laughs> with the O N D and H N D in food science and technology, and an impressive diploma in Chinese Mandarin language. And it's a beauty queen with a passion extremely similar to mine. Oh, and yeah, you guessed right, presenting. Alice is passionate about TV presenting and also about tackling sickle cell. Miss Tourism Nigeria is another special guest with us. Um, Eastern Queen Adeze Chibweke. 23. <laughs> uh, who is under who is an undergraduate in business administration with her feet already grounded into business administration and humanitarianism. Ada Eze is a believer of humanity, a rare trait because human beings ain't much, and feels that they are philanthropic spirit with goals of becoming renowned for that. Please welcome with me the beautiful queen. <laughs> Thank I'm, you. Like, I'm very shy when I see beautiful girls. Oh I'm not going to be able to look at you guys. Oh, oh, for real? Welcome to the show. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Oh, we're fine. It's so dramatic. Yeah, I'm, very, I'm a very shy person. Oh my gosh, leave. please. Oh, you wow. guys. Wow, you guys are too fine. Oh, I mean, you must thank get out you. all the time. <laughs> How you guys Mamira doing? tells beauty me that. Queen, don't is... worry, don't worry. I'm very comfortable when it comes to beauty. Mm -hmm. COVID-19, shout out for excessive touch. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. We use sanitizer. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, guys, beauty, beauty space and all of that. You guys were just crowned something at least which yeah. is a big deal people might not understand that it takes more than just being pretty so i want your expressions really quickly because we're running out of time and i want to juice the life out of this conversation mm -hmm. okay. so just give us really quickly what your experience has been like to be crowned so far okay we were crowned roughly two weeks ago i came into this pageant in order to be a face of motivation to youngsters who live with sickle cell anemia and so far it has been amazing i get dms every day Aww. of people who watch the show say oh my god i got to know about you and because of you i am much more educated about sickle cell anemia and i mm. know how best to treat people who live with it i also get messages from survivors who tell me that oh my god thank you for motivating me because mm. of you i am no longer shy about my sickle cell mm. genotype status because mm. i am actually one mm. so it has been amazing being a face of motivation to this youngsters out there i mean this is the main reason why i am crowned mm. and i am so happy that mm. i am fulfilling this dream of mine awesome oh, so <laughs> humanitarian work you know being done no, no, by... her thoughts as well for the journey okay yeah. done okay thank you so much um it's been a wonderful journey like yeah. i've got to experience a lot of things I needed um, some level of exposure. I yeah. think I'm getting that right now. Okay. So, so I think that's um, that's the that's the one thing I'm enjoying right now. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not easy, but I, I trust the process. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so I'm really really happy about the platform. Yeah. yeah in general. All yeah. right. So when we're talking about the platform and, you know, you have your sickle cell stuff going on, you humanitarian and mm. business as well. Um, how do you think you're going to combine that? Because, you know, at the end of the day, when you start getting really busy, do you think you'll still be able to focus on humanity? Because like she said, a lot of people will turn you up and they'll make you feel like there's no need to be good. <laughs> and yeah. So um, how do you think you're going to handle that? And I'm coming to you, but I want to get a take for it. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm human. First mm. of all, so mm. regardless of how anybody makes me feel, mm. it won't stop um, my vision, it won't right. stop my, my purpose because I'm passionate about it. So I don't think anyone can make me, you know, change my mind because right. that's what I live for. Like, right. I'm happy when people around me are comfortable and yeah. safe. Mm. So regardless of how you make me feel, mm. I see it as a duty, it's a responsibility. Mm. Just like saying, um, you're currently with your younger sister or your younger brother, you want to leave the house. Mm. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, all right, so let's talk about sickle cell. You know, the, I think that is something that a lot of people are really not educated about in this part of the world. You know, you still find, you know, people that are not compatible getting married to each other. So I want to give you this platform, you know, to educate people, you know, know what genotype is. Some real, because yes, because of summary, people yeah. can take over the conversation. Yeah. We had a sickle cell yeah, um, yeah, advocate true. on the table. Yeah, so in summary, mm. I'm 30 seconds actually. Mm -hmm. yeah, the time I want, I'm kidding. Okay, first and foremost, I just want to urge Nigerians to make sure that they know their genotype, mm. their partner's genotype before they 
go to lock hands. Mm. I mean, sickle cell is not something you joke about. It's not something you would say when we get to the bridge, mm. we'll cross it. Mm. It's something that you have to be educated and know, okay, if this happens, how am I going to handle it? I mean, people fall in love and all of that. During mm. our parents' time, they're not really much educated about IVF and methods that mm. you can actually use to prevent having a sickle cell child. So even if, which is not even advisable, even if you want to see yourself taking that risk, Please be informed on the best medical practices to use. Mm. You have to meet you have to meet professionals that would educate you on mm. safe practices that you would use in order to ensure that you avoid betting a sickle cell child. Because honestly, it is not easy. Yeah. We get drained a lot emotionally, physically, mm. mentally, and all of that. Yeah. And for you to have a sickle cell child, you have to be a very strong parent. And mm. even though you are not strong enough, and of which I don't even advise anybody. Yeah. Right now, I think we should be looking onto having a world that is free From of birthing new, uh, birthing children who comes mm. into the world to live with sickle cell anemia. Right. I mean, this is 2020. We should know better. It's, it's very possible. Well, let's move into to the Christmas festival season, as okay. we uh, as, as it is. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Are there responsibilities you guys have to? Because I'm sure you have your personal plans, right? Mm -hmm. um, but are there responsibilities as crowned queens now that you have to fulfill this Christmas period? There are responsibilities, actually. I mean, this is Christmas period. This is a festive period where you get to see children. They are free from school. You can meet mm. them at your homes. You can meet them. Was that a personal thing for you, or is your body that crowned you asking you to go no. and do this? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. a personal thing, actually. Okay. It comes right. to me freely because right. even before I was crowned, I've always been an advocate for sickle cell anemia. Right. Sometimes I go over to hospitals mm. to meet sick sickle cell patients there, mm. talk to them and see how they're doing and so on. Of course, if I get the opportunity to do this this first period, I'm you're in for it. it. Okay. And you, what do you have in plans? Okay, I have a lot of plans, but then I just want to use this, like I, I said to myself the other day that this Christmas is not for me. Mm. Like it's a season <laughs> of like planning that. for mm. me. Mm. So I think it's a season of planning for me. So I'm going to use this month to plan how my month, yeah, how my yeah, 2020 yeah. would be. Yeah. So I'm not really... 2021. Some of us are in 2021 <laughs> already. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so how my 2021 will be. Mm. So I'm not really all about the Christmas, Christmas thing. Right. It's next year mm. that I'm going to celebrate my own Christmas. Right, right. So it's uh, just... Um, if, there's, if there's somebody out there who's wanting to be in the beauty space, um, they, they, we've had this conversation a lot of the times, but mm. I think it's different for each girl. What would that one thing um, be that you would tell them to either look out for or have? Like, what's that one thing you think they need to do or have to walk in that space of competing in the... In mm. the beauty, in the challenges, the beauty like pageant <laughs> world, because I know it's a very different world. Like, yeah. it's, it's very, very challenging. Mm. Very challenging. Mm. I would say that you should ask yourself: Is this what I want to do? Mm. Because starting first, you're not going to get paid. Mm. So a lot of people they have this money thing in their mind that yeah. hey, once I once get in, I'm going to get money. <laughs> mm. It should be your passion first. So right. if it's not your passion, I would advise you should not the go into that, it because it's, it will take you years of years of. Mm. Okay, so uh, passion. If, yeah, your passion yes, number one. Right. Mm. Then secondly, I think uh, you should you should believe in God because you have passion and you do not have you do not believe in God. You don't have faith. It's not going to work for you. Mm. So this these are my two my things. two sure things thing. that, okay. that keeps. Okay, beauty pageant is a beauty spot. Mm. I want people to know this. Spot S P O R T. It's not okay. just okay. it's not just something that you come into because you have a very fine face. You have mm. to ensure that you actually have the passion, just as my co queen said. You're passionate about a course and you're not just the fine face, you know how to speak, you know how to present the brand of which you will be crowned under. So if you look forward into becoming a beauty queen someday, I would want you to actually sit yourself down and say, okay, when I get a crown on my head, what am I actually presenting? Mm. What will I represent? Because, I mean, there are youngsters out there who look up to people. Mm. I mean, mm. people, people have role models. And if you're being crowned and you don't have a positive impact on the society, then why? So what's the memory thing? It's a waste right. of time. So I think you should just sit back and ask, ask yourself, okay, as a beauty queen, what would I be known for? Mm. What would I educate the younger ones? And all of that. All right, yes, so I think it would be nice for you guys to put a smile on somebody's face <laughs> out there, you know, this festive season by singing us um, a Christmas song together. Yeah, yeah, 
Okay. 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 What song okay. decide right now? Because we're running out of time. We, we wish, wish you a Merry, a Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 In fact, you know what? That's, and that's how I'm going to end <laughs> the, the show. Yeah. And I wish we had more time because you can tell that there's a lot of brains coming out. We could talk more about you guys. Exactly. But obviously, you can follow them on the social medias really quickly. What yes. are your social medias? Yes. Uh, mine is at Call Me A Days on Instagram, Facebook. Um, HRM Queen Adesi Chibike. Yes, okay. call me Adesi on Instagram. Right. <laughs> okay, so on Instagram, I am the Ebika Olohu, T H E E B I K A O L U O H U. And on Facebook, I have a Facebook page, Ebika Olohu, E B I K A O L U O H U. So Alrighty. I'm waiting in my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> waiting. <laughs> and okay. that is how, unfortunately, that's how we wrap up today's episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. You can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. Or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on all our previous episodes in case you didn't start this one early, including all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time and RT TV in London and in Ben Television. A big thank you out to my co-anko Ife Oluwashike and Eniola who had to step down due to social distancing. And of course, my beauty queens, yep, Alice yep, and yep. Adeze, <laughs> um, for just joining us and bracing us with your beauty. And of course, my entire production team okay. in the back doing their thing thank you so much my name is Ife Oluwa Omai your favorite <laughs> <laughs> thank you